If I am to win this battle, I must pull my wits about me. Hi guys, and welcome back to some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. We are back with the weekly challenge, Off the Chain. Right um, this time with Blood Spike. Uh, I'll put the links down below for the Cygnus and Ozeal runs. Um, and I've done both of those heroes previously as well when this weekly challenge has been up. So all of the links will be uh, down below if you guys want to check those out. Uh, this will hopefully be a 5 star attempt with Blood Spike. We have a 5 minute 30 par time. Setting up the traps and also the pathing the same. I find it the easiest way uh, to do this map. But I am absolutely useless with Blood Spike. So we'll see how we go. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, still get that 5 star. Even though I don't really know what I'm doing with him. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. So the whole idea about uh, this weekly challenge is there is a lot of uh, unchained drops um, and just trying to keep those up as much as possible. Um, fingers crossed we'll be able to uh, still get that done and hopefully not let any of these damn runners through. They can be a pain to chase down with Blood Spike. There we go. Just going to put a couple of decoys there, mainly to uh, protect the barricades. And also that overload shouldn't uh, shouldn't hit any of our floor traps. And we're not going to be able to put any floor traps there as well. So kind of pretty good map for actually the overload trap because there is uh, so little floor space you can uh, use effectively for traps. So let's see, uh, okay not going too bad so far, going to replace those decoys there, it's mainly for um, just kind of protecting the barricades a little bit as well, because we don't want those to be uh, damaged. Uh, or broken either. Okay, so... So far, not too bad. And also with Orphan coming out as well, that'll uh, kind of distract him a little bit. We'll focus the... Focus the decoys, which is nice. Eventually get those guys down. Okay, we're going to go unchained again. See how we go. Now oh, this is... Oh, we got him, we got him eventually. There we go. So the first four waves are in this section here of the map. And then the final wave is on the other door. So, don't have to worry about that one until the last wave. Which is nice. Here you go, a bit more unchained here as well. Hey, very nice. Doing okay so far. Keeping that unchained meter up as much as possible really helps you out. Uh, didn't get to that uh, unstable rift. Not a big deal. Should be able to uh, place a couple of traps here that will help us out a little bit. I don't want to place them too close because I don't want to have my floor traps disabled. Now those guys are going to path all the way around here. Not worried about that at all. That's the uh, they'll eventually get here. They might take a bit of damage uh, from those traps as well. I should have enough unchained here to. Go unchained once again. Time wise, we're doing okay at the moment. Shouldn't have too much to worry about there. Keep putting these uh, decoys around, distract as much of them as possible. 
and then we can go Unchained once more to finish these last couple of guys off. I mean, still a minute to go and only these two guys left, so as I said, time-wise, if you keep that Unchained going, get through the waves and the boss is pretty easy. Even I can do this one with Blood Spike. So I was able to scrape in there, get that 5 star, which is pretty good. Not a bad score, half a mil. Never really go for score anyway, but if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to check out the Cygnus and Ozeal runs as well, and also the giveaway that's going on. Make sure you jump over to that and enter for some skins and some gold. And if you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and hope to catch you all in the rift.